Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome back to another edition of the Haida's Ranch and Homestead. Today we are going to determine how much does your animal weigh, and we're not going to do it with expensive scales, uh, but we're going to do it with just a common measuring tape. So come along with me and uh, let's find out just how exactly we go about doing that. <laughs> All right, so today is the, uh, another edition of the Head Desert Ranch and Homestead, and how much does your animal weigh? And often livestock owners need to know the weight of their animals in order to determine proper feed rations, to administer proper dosage of medication, or to track how individual animals grow and use their feed. <clears throat> Approved and calibrated livestock scales are the most accurate and consistent method for determining body weight. But however, um, this is often expensive. A lot of people don't have access to a scale. And sometimes you're just out um, on the range or uh, miles away from where you can bring animals to a scale. So how do you know? Um, there are several methods that can be used to determine an animal's weight uh, when access to a scale is impossible. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Um, some people do visual observation <laughs> or guessing, and that's not the most effective. Um, weigh tapes and weigh estimation formulas. Um, however, visual observation is not very accurate and not recommended for uh, use when determining rations, medication dosages, um, and especially when the accurate uh, weighing is important, the weight is important. Um, so weigh tapes is something that uh, people use and they are especially marked tapes used to measure the heart, girth, and convert the measurement to a fairly accurate estimate of the animal's body weight um, however, weigh tapes are easy to use and can be utilized effectively for monitoring purposes, um, but um, they can be a little inconsistent when not, when not used by the same person. Um, they can, however, be used to, uh, for cattle, sheep, goats, and horses, um, and these can be purchased at very li various livestock supply or like farm feed store uh, companies. However, what we're gonna do the method today is uh, with weight estimation formulas, a common measuring tape uh, can be used to determine the heart girth and body length. Um, these measurements are then used to use to help with the ca um, calculate the animal's weight and the weight estimation formulas described, um, described just a little bit later are gonna be more accurate than a weight tape and almost always more accurate than visual observation uh, in determining an animal's weight. So uh, let's go ahead and get started um, with, with that uh, actual measurement. And today we're going to have uh, Carlisle, he's going to help me. Uh, we're going to measure his cow, just to, his calf, just to see how much it's grown. And, um, and it, you're going to see just how easy it is. And All right, so here we are. We've got the calf. I'd recommend um, having the same people administer um, this measurement. So the calf or any animal is... Um, familiar with what's going on, I recommend with the hog, and maybe even possibly a sheep, but definitely with the hog, to have them confine and uh, restrain so you're able to do a measurement. So I've got Carlisle standing on this other side, and while feeding him, he's going to be more distracted. So that's why I recommend doing it while you're feeding. So um, while well, we got that feeding, we're going to take the heart measurement first, which is going to go right uh, just beyond the shoulder blade and wrap it around. So Carla, you want to grab that? All right. Oop. Bring it up around, buddy. All right. So we've got 57 inches. All right. And then this next one is going to be the body measurement. And you're going to take it from right around the shoulder blade right in here and then to the pin um, or like his rump. All right, if this measuring tape will work. Right, so to the pin, I'm gonna fill right around 37 inches. All right, now I'm next gonna show you how to do the formula. And I'm gonna write those measurements down a little, do a simple math, and we'll um, show that formula for you. All righty, so um, now that we've got our weight measure or our heart measurement of 57 inches and then from the shoulder bone to the pin bone there in the back of 37 inches 
Um, here's your formula. I'm going to put it right there for you. Um, you're going to do your heart girth, which is 57 inches, times the heart girth again, 57 inches, times the body length of 37 inches. So you're going to um, add that all together, and it's going to be times, and then you're going to divide it by 300, and that will give you the weight in pounds. So um, if we've done all the, the measurements correct, uh, which we have, uh, this calf weighs uh, just over 400 pounds which isn't too bad. Uh, it's good to know going into the, the winter season, um, just because that way we can determine what we need to do as far as uh, we really need to start supplementing with some hay and then even possibly doing some a little bit higher protein because they're gonna need that here in the winter time. So um, that's a pretty simple way for, for beef cattle. Um, uh, for sheep and goats, you're gonna use the exact same method as I just showed you. Uh, and make sure uh, when working with unshorn sheep, um, be, be sure to compress the wool to ensure an accurate heart girth measurement. Um, kind of common sense right there, right? Um, and then so with um, hogs, and I'll even show you a little graphic right here, um, you're going to measure the length of the body from A to B. Uh, and by um, make sure you you restrain the animal because um, that's really going to be the only way you're going to be able to do it with the hog. So... And uh, so basically you'll be taking right in between uh, the length of the body in between the ears or the pole over the backbone to the base of the tail. So again, A to B. And then you're going to measure the heart. Um, you're going to do measure the circumference or the heart girth of the body. And after these measurements are made, use the following formula right here. Uh, you're wanting to do heart girth uh, times heart girth times the body length. And then you're going to divide that by 400. Um, and that will give you a good a measurement uh, as far as the, the weight of your of your hog. So, and something also too to note, I almost forgot this, um, is something that's common practice is for hogs that are laying, that weigh less than 150 pounds, add seven pounds to the weight figure from this formula. Um, and for hogs weighing above 150 and upwards of 400 pounds, uh, you don't need to, no further adjustment is uh, necessary. Here's a little, uh, some tips also for increasing accuracy and safety. Uh, make certain the animal is standing uh, standing squarely on level ground. Uh, have someone stand on the opposite side to help with the measurement. And like I just had shown you with Carlisle, and make sure the tape lays flat and is not twisted. Pull the tape snug, you definitely want to get a snug measurement. and. Also, when using a weigh tape, position the tape according to the manufacturer's directions. So if you're going to go that route, make sure you follow the directions. Um, and a cloth measuring tape is preferred. So I used a cloth measuring tape um, for, for my purposes today. And like I said, you might need to restrain the pig, um, especially when you're working with a pig. Even sheep sometimes. Um, as you can see, uh, the cattle, they're pretty, pretty docile for the most part. And be calm and make sure you don't rush in and make sure the animal is comfortable with the measuring tape. Um, so, and when you're monitoring the animal's uh, weight, make sure you're using the same people all the time. So they're comfortable, they know, uh, which again, if you're working around your animals, animal husbandry, and especially if your kids and children are involved, that most likely your animals are gonna be comfortable. So, um, and by following a set procedure, you'll be able to monitor and chain, um, change that can be used uh, as an indicator of the animal's health. And again, you'll be able to um, make adjustments to their feed rationing and things of that nature. So, um, and also one of the last things is the weight estimation formulas and weight tapes may be used effectively for many animals, um, but are not at highly accurate for pregnant animals. Um, so anyways, keep that in mind. Um, but, uh, I hope this is helpful. Please like subscribe, share with others. Um, I know these tips are always helpful. I wish I would have known a long time ago. So if you have someone that's getting uh, new into the business, um, or into the whole uh, uh, world of animal husbandry, please share this with them. And please leave your comments below. And uh, I like to always hear from you. I promise I do read every single comment. And uh, I hope I was your ticket to help escape the ordinary and find out just what it's like to live the high life here in the um, high desert of the Intermountain West here on the High Desert Ranch and Homestead Channel.